Hello guys, today we're going to be talking about iodine and its absorption. Iodine is found in most saltwater products like saltwater fish and crab, but mostly in seaweed. If you have a legislation in your country, like in Denmark, that says that all table salt should be enriched with iodine, you can also find iodine there. Some countries don't have it, like Turkey for example. If your country, however, does have it, then you can also find iodine in bread, but only if the bread has been baked with salt that has been iodized. Iodine is one of those components that just gets absorbed into the body quite readily. So you eat a product that's full of iodine, essentially. Let's say that you eat seaweed. So you eat seaweed, you eat it, it goes into your stomach and then into your small intestine. From here, it gets transported via this sodium dependent active transport over to the thyroid gland which is here so in terms of absorption it doesn't need any help but in terms of transport it needs help via this sodium transport active transportation this sodium thing when it gets to the thyroid gland then helps trap the iodine into the thyroid gland which is very paramount because iodine is being used to create these hormones or thyroid gland hormones called T3 and T4. T3 is the active one and T4 is the pro-hormone one. So that's the one that comes before the T3. The T3 requires three iodines to make one and the T4 needs four iodine to make one. Now these hormones are very vital in terms of preventing neural tube defects here which you can see in babies sadly if the mother has not had a big enough intake of iodine but so it's very important during like the fetal stage and developmental stage and the childhood stage normally you would be covered but if you're worried about that go see your healthcare provider i don't know we're just a random girl on the internet so these are someone <laughs> a healthcare professional that can take like a blood sample but if you have a large amount of intake of iodine don't worry you don't need to go on a detox or anything your body is super smart it filters out the excess amount of iodine in your body by sending it to the kidneys and then the kidneys mostly excrete it in the urine now you might find a little bit in your feces also known as poo but in most cases, it just goes out via the urine. And that's the simple thing about iodine. Quick absorption, quick understanding. I hope this helped a lot. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions about it, just write them down below and we'll figure it out. I love you guys. Bye-bye.